it's Stephanie the Crafty Medic. I've got a beach themed project for you today, so let's head on into the craft room and get started. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made the background for this card. So this watercolor background. We're going to need a few different things and it's going to depend on what colors you want. So you're going to need some markers and some ink pads in the colors that you want to use. So obviously I'm using all kinds of shades of blue. I have done it as rainbows as well, but you can use any, any colors that you want. You're also going to need a clear block, some pieces of watercolor paper, a spritzer, and you fill this with either alcohol or water. I'm using alcohol here just because it dries a bit quicker. You're going to need some salt, any type of salt will do. I'm using kosher salt here and an aqua painter with some water in it. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I want to get kind of a base down, I'm going to be using my Soft Sky ink pad. And I'm going to use that to ink up my clear block here. It doesn't really matter how much ink I put on there as long as I get some on. Then I'm going to take my spritzer and I'm going to thoroughly soak down my piece of watercolor paper. This is really important that you get this fairly soaked and you want to get some on your clear block as well. And then it's just laying it down on there and you can smoosh it around a bit. You'll find this is a very kind of not specific kind of technique. So now we've got that, I do want to just clear some of that off because we're going to be doing some coloring. So just some paper towel. And now we're going to get into getting some of our different colors on there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use the brush tip of a few different markers and I'm just going to scribble some different colors onto the block. You can go in with some of your darker colors and do some little squiggles. There's no, again, specific way to do this. And again, you're gonna spritz on there a bit, get some more onto your watercolor, and again, on there, and smoosh it around. And I want it to get sort of the whole thing covered, so I'm just smooshing it around a bit like that. I'm gonna do another layer just because you can, if you're happy with one layer, you can leave it at that. If you want to do more than one layer, you can do more. I'm gonna do some of my lighter colors because I just wanted to get some of that dark in there. Again, you want to be using your brush tip for this. I'm just going to lay that down, smush it around a bit. You get more of the polka dots when you don't put water onto your, uh, or alcohol onto your watercolor paper and the watercolor paper is drier, but that's okay. I'm fairly happy with that. So I'm going to leave this here to dry. And as I'm doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some salt on it. And that's just going to give us some of those lighter sprinkles because the salt is going to soak up some of the alcohol and the color and change the color a little bit. So now I'm going to leave this here to dry for a little bit and we'll come back in a few minutes and take a quick look and how we're going to finish this off. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes and I'm just gonna knock some of the salt off. And you can see how there's these light specks left behind wherever there was some salt on here. So I'm gonna get rid of this salt off my table. Oops. 
Okay, so now we're gonna get in and do some of the sort of splotches on there. So I'm gonna take my Lost Lagoon ink pad, I'm gonna squish it a few times, because that's gonna give me some ink to work with in the lid there. You can see I've used this one a lot. So all I'm gonna do is kind of pick up some of the ink on my brush and then I'm gonna dot some of that on there. Okay, I've got too much water on my brush. So I'm just going to squeeze some of it off onto the paper towel, pick up some more ink, and as I'm squeezing, drop some of that ink onto my page. Now as you can see, it's starting to soak in a little bit, so what I want to do is I want to actually swirl some of this color around into the lighter spots too, so I'm just going to Swirl it around and you can see where it's already absorbed, it's staying. So that's exactly what I want. You can add some color in here too. Make some of my areas a little darker. My edges and my corners I like to make a little bit darker. And there we go. The one last thing that I like to do is I do like to dry it off a little bit. So I'm just going to blot it with some paper towel. That's going to dry it a bit because I want to leave some water spots on here as well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my nice clean aqua painter and I'm going to drop some water on there. And now I'm going to leave it to dry and I'm going to wait until it's completely dry and you'll see that those dry into some nice water spots. So that's it. Now you can uh, attach it to your card base however you want. I like to, because it curls up a little bit usually, I like to use Fast Fuse. You could decorate it however you want. The rainbow example I showed you earlier, I stamped over top of it with some silver ink. I don't know if that's showing up very well. But there you've got your watercolor background.